This one's going to be on Graphits. Basically, it's a program that you can make diagrams with. Uh, but it's not like you drawing out the diagrams yourself. You actually typing it out, and it will generate a diagram for you. So I'll give you an example of that. Uh, so first, you want to do is make a new file. So touch here, and we'll make a um, file called new uh, dot dots or something. They usually use the dot dot extension. Um, that's just how they do it. Okay, but you can call it whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. Anyways, what you want to do is use an editor. Uh, I'm gonna use Nano for this, but you can use Gedit, whatever you want to use. And in here is where we're going to type in the code. Uh, so the code is pretty easy. Uh, digraph, and then you give it a name. Uh, usually, you see in some examples, they start out with G. But you can actually type in whatever name you want, like test, whatever. And you have the open curly bracket thing. <laughs> and go down the line, and um, this is where you, start, you type in your diagram. Uh, so this is an, a, a basic example, but there's also like you know hardcore stuff, more confusing stuff if you want to do that. But this is the basics. So let's say for example, I want one goes to two, and uh, two goes to three. If I spell three right, and you end it with the semicolon, uh, and then you end it with the the close curly bracket thing. And I say we're gonna save it. Control O, Enter, Control X. And now what we want to do is, uh, I guess, kind of like compiling it. I guess. So dot uh, dash T, and you want to give the extension, uh, whatever extension you want it to come out as. Uh, usually, if you see some example, they use PS, and PS is I think it's called Postscript, or it's kind of like PDF, I believe. But this time we're going to use uh, PNG, which is the image uh, format. And then we want to uh, dash big O, okay. And in our file that we just uh, used, so new dot here. Uh, so this one is going to make a PNG file based on the code that we just uh, typed in, okay. So do that sucker. And now we dg. Uh, it'll create a PNG file for us and then we open it and you see that uh, the file that we made right one goes to two two goes to three pretty easy like that and it generates it for us so it looks all nice and stuff uh, there's other things we're doing here let me show you an example <coughs> so let's go back and edit our uh, was it our our file here so you don't actually have to do it this way. So let's give me an example. Let's say you can go one to two. I think this is another basic example that they have. And two goes to three. And let's say you want to loop three back uh, to one, right? And let's say Control O, Control X, and let's compile it again. I guess this. I don't know. I call it compile. Okay do that and let's reload this image and you see that uh, one goes to two two goes to three uh, and three goes back to one right so you can do you know a lot of these stuff it'll actually get more confusing if you want to do more confusing diagrams okay now this is one style they actually have uh, different styles that you can use so I'm giving you an example if you go into man dot you see that they have uh, dot, they have neato, they have two pi, circle, and all these other ones. Basically, these ones are. Uh, let me see what they have here. They have different layouts. Okay, so this one is like a rad dial layout, circular, and this one is what is this one? Neato is called drawing for undirected graphs. I guess that's what it's for. But let's say we use neato. It's gonna look different from this one, okay? So let's go back here and instead of using dot, we're gonna use neato. And let's see how this uh, you know diagram will look like. 
Right now, this one looks uh, I kind I guess kind of circular. You see, but it still does the same thing. See, one goes to two, two goes to three, and three goes back to one. So it just depends on uh, you know if you want to use dot needle or what's the other one called. Let's try um, this circle here. All right, let me do that one. See how that looks like. There you go. This one is uh, circular. It looks bigger, but it's almost the same thing as the other one. Uh, still does the same thing. One goes to two, two goes to three, and three goes back to one. And you can actually play around with it. Um, give me another example if you want to get more confusing. Maybe we do another one. Um, let's see here. One goes to five. And five goes to six or something. And uh, I don't know, control O. Right, and now we're going to use that one. We'll see how this looks like. And there you go. Just depends what you type in there, and uh, this is how it looks like. So that's pretty much it for uh, graph fits. Uh, you can use, uh, you know, dot language is there and there's no GUI f for this by default but there's other programs that can uh, can use this instead of using you know the command line here, line here to do everything um, manually but I'll show you that next time but if you want to use it just purely on this program uh, that's how you would do it from the command line A pretty easy it's not that hard but um, if you do some other ones, like more complex ones, then it gets uh, you know a little bit more confusing. And if you want to get more help on that, just check out their website. They have some examples uh, up there that you can just you know look at and uh, modify it, and you'll learn it. So that's it for this one on graphics and dot languages. Uh, that's it for this one.